It was two years ago when we witnessed the epic showdown of the 2021 Formula 1 season. Michael Massey made that possible in the special way he was overseeing the races that season. Looking at social media in the Formula 1 spaces, this is still very much a topic. I'm using the very first race of the season as an example and the very last one to get my point across. The reason why I made this video is to address some of the misconceptions surrounding the decisions that were made by Michael Massey that whole season. I'm Wimbo, here's 3 seconds to leave a like. What is the let them race philosophy? It all comes down to leaving drivers to sort things out on track rather than bombarding them with penalties. The rulebook is fast and thick and open to many interpretations. If race control would stick to them rigidly, racing would suffer. We have seen this in the past many times. Penalties that altered outcomes afterwards, hour long waits for results to be made public. Sure, Carlos Sainz scored three podiums where he was denied the ceremony afterwards. I believe Massey made his decisions with the spirit of racing in mind with the rulebook as guidance. People were fine with that pretty much the whole season until that last faithful race, which turned out to be his final race too, so far. Bahrain 2021, a duel in the desert with the young and upcoming challenger and the older experienced defender in the lead roles. Mercedes had interpreted the 2021 floor regulations wrong and wasn't as dominant as the seven years before that. If you're interested in exactly what happened with the 2021 floor regulations, I made a video about it, which I'll leave up as an end screen at the end of this video. Max Verstappen started on pole and got away great until a safety car was deployed after some Russian debutant driver crashed after only a few turns. Max nailed the restart and was in the lead when Hamilton was called in to attempt the undercut, which was successful. Verstappen pitted four laps later and then did another stop in lap 39, which gave the Limburger the advantage again on fresher tires. Verstappen took seconds per lap off the lead Hamilton had and in lap 53 Max went round the outside in turn 4 and almost made that move stick until he went off track gaining an advantage by doing so and was asked to give that position back. Now giving a position back is something that Massey was keen on telling drivers rather than the nasty penalties. Verstappen wanted to push through to make the gap big enough to get rid of the penalty but he was told by his engineer GP not to do this. Even to this day, debates are going on about drivers just taking the penalty, knowing they have the pace to make the penalty worthless. I think it's important to note that Red Bull and Verstappen were sporting enough to give up the position, even if no such thing is in the rulebook. Masi decided to do it this way, to let the drivers sort it out on track, to let them race. With the dirty air behind the cars we still had in 2021, Verstappen wasn't able to try and overtake Hamilton again, so Lewis won the race. However, there was something else going on in that race in Bahrain. During that weekend, track limits would be monitored in turn 4 during practice and qualifying. If a driver was to exceed track limits, their time would be deleted. This would not be monitored during the race. The ruling was written up in the director's notes on Saturday morning. Lewis Hamilton had abused those track limits 29 times during that race which gave him an advantage of 3 tenths of a second each time. This went on until the Red Bull pit wall clocked this and Max Verstappen was told to do the same. This was then brought to the attention of Michael Massey, who then told the teams that any team exceeding those track limits would get a warning flag and a penalty if they continued to abuse track limits. See, in the regulations, there's Article 27.3. Drivers must make every reasonable effort to use the track at all times and may not deliberately leave the track without a justifiable reason. Drivers will be judged to have left the track if no part of the car remains in contact with it and, for the avoidance of doubt, any white lines defining the track edges are considered to be part of the track, but the curves are not. Should a car leave the track, the driver may rejoin, however, this may only be done when it's safe to do so and without gaining any lasting advantage. At the absolute discretion of the race director, a driver may be given the opportunity to give back the whole of any advantage he gained by leaving the track. 
Article 27.3 of the Sporting Regulations is a blanket rule that applies to every race of the season. So Turn 4 wasn't monitored, but it was always checked in according with the Sporting Regulations that a lasting advantage overall must not be gained. Lewis Hamilton gained almost 9 seconds by cutting that corner and when Verstappen made his final pit stop he was 8.5 seconds behind his title rival. He would have pitted in front of Hamilton if track limits weren't abused and the failed overtake wouldn't have been necessary. Verstappen lost a race he should have won. Verstappen lost 7 points that day. Masi made his decision to let them race. Some say he changed the rules midway through the race. I disagree. A situation was presented and he interpreted the rule book and acted on it in good faith. Abu Dhabi 2021 The season final saw Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton equal on points in a season full of incidents and controversies. Michael Massey had his hands full dealing with the two gladiators on track, but also with the two team principals running the teams they drive for. It was during the Spanish Grand Prix that we first heard a radio conversation between a team principal and Michael Massey on air. It was broadcast to have a more transparent view of what goes on during a race. Massey was only race director for a few years after he was suddenly promoted to this job due to the death of Charlie Whiting. Now, with what I know of the legendary no-nonsense Charlie Whiting, I dare to say he wouldn't have allowed those interactions to be broadcast. Massey did allow this, not knowing how much extra pressure it would bring. Total Wolf was the first to come over the radio to bark his orders at Massey. Michael, blue flags! Michael, this guy makes us lose the position. When Christian Horner heard this, he started using this option too. The final race in Abu Dhabi already had a controversial moment in the first lap. Verstappen had a bad start and lost his pole position to Hamilton and Verstappen didn't give up and made a huge lunge forcing Hamilton off track to avoid a collision. Verstappen stayed on track and saw Hamilton cutting that corner in the most extreme way possible and was far ahead of Verstappen at that stage. Everyone was surprised that Massey left things the way it was. Apparently Hamilton had dropped his pace a bit to give the advantage back and that was that. I do agree somewhat with Massey's decision. Max was wild and what options did Massey have at his disposal? Give Hamilton a 5 second penalty? That would be harsh seeing how he was forced off track. Give the position to Max? That would be harsh too seeing where they were in that turn. They were level on the apex pretty much. So he left it and let them race. The race carried on and Verstappen couldn't keep up. He didn't want them to win it easily, so he kept pushing and never let the gap grow enough for Mercedes to pit. Checo's help and a virtual safety car saw Max only around 10 seconds away from Hamilton, who couldn't pit to get rid of his old tires. Mercedes had gambled on the rest of the race being uneventful. They forgot that Latifi raced for Williams, who crashed 5 laps before the last lap and caused a safety car. Verstappen pitted, but Hamilton didn't as they were afraid to lose track position. Then during the procedure of the safety car, things got very complicated for Massey. The easy option would have been to take plenty of time and let the race fizzle out under yellow conditions. But the teams had talked about this and agreed with the FIA that while not written in the sporting regulations, when possible, every attempt should be made to end a Grand Prix under green flag conditions. Liberty Media had promoted that race to a new audience that wouldn't have understood it if the race had finished neutralized. So Michael Massey, with his racing heart in place, assessed the situation while keeping the people on track safe to see if there was a way to get this race going again. To make things even more complicated, one of the engines caught fire and that stalled the whole process. After a while, it looked like the race would get one lap of racing without the back markers cleared between Hamilton and Verstappen. The race director has the power to make that call. Article 15.3 states that the race director shall have overriding authority over several matters, including the safety car. Then Red Bull smooth-talking Jonathan Wheatley spoke with Massey. In a polite, gentle, soothing manner, he laid out a plan that would see the race have one more lap with back markers away. Bar 3. He has authority to do this as long as the clerk of the course deemed it safe, which he did. Massey grabbed his opportunity instead of the commands Toto Wolf was giving him and we got that fantastic final lap and Max Verstappen won his first title. Mercedes not happy, 
Red Bull delighted. Hamilton lost a race he should have won if Massey had made a different decision. Hamilton lost 7 points that day. Some say he changed the rules midway through the race. I disagree. A situation was presented, he interpreted the rulebook and acted on it in good faith. Michael Massey's way of directing a race, with him being in charge, was equal to all drivers. All of them have gained points and lost points due to the calls he made. I feel he was scapegoated after that season and we still feel that two years later as race direction hasn't improved. There was no manipulation. There was no agenda other than let them race. Subscribe. Take care now. Doei doei. A special thanks to my channel members. Your help is much appreciated. If you want to support this channel too, click the link down below.